Hey, what's up everybody? Craven Billiards back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about position play. Let's get into it. So this is going to be a short video about using inside English. And this is a follow-up to part one. And our line, we would like to come up here for the 13 ball in the corner pocket. We're going to imagine that was the 8 ball. Here's your last ball. Okay, so we're going to use right spin. So... I'm going to go from 11, 12, about 1 o'clock, and we're going to use a full straight stroke. Just like that. And as you guys can see, we pulled up perfectly for the 13 ball in the corner pocket. With a little bit of right spin, when you come off of the rail, instead of left hand spin, which will take you way out here, the right hand spin will manipulate the cue ball with the spin it has, and it will spin this way and come into the pocket. Now this is a good drill, this is what I use. And that was not, <laughs> that was not too good. But I mean, I mean, I'm on position, so. It's open and there's no way you're gonna run into any traffic. I would definitely use right hand English about one o'clock. And you can just see, look at how much better the ball pulls up on the 13. And we have a nice straight in shot for the 13. Well, not really straight in, but a layup we call. So I do practice this. I would recommend practicing this, practicing this shot as much as possible, getting yourself used to the speed, how the ball reacts with the spin. Because if you use a little too much, you see we're getting a little closer now to the side pocket so now that's an indication that I'm using a little bit too much uh, right hand spin. So the next shot I want to look at is the right hand spin exactly almost the same shot but we're going to pull up behind the 13 ball inside English to show you how much this cue ball manipulates the angle. Okay now look at that look at that one still hit it hard it went down the table but yet we're I'd say this is probably the best shot right there. Inside English, so left hand English, and we're going this time for about nine o'clock. And that was way better, way better. Got a nice, good, sharp angle. There we go, that's perfect. So that is pretty much ideal. ideal. So maybe if you're playing nine ball, and you get into a shot like that, and you can use inside English to manipulate the ball. The last shot we're going to look at today is a little bit more of an advanced shot, but it still can be made by, I guess, your skill level twos and threes. Honestly, I've seen them do it. So this shot here is almost like if you were in a nine ball match. The nine ball is down there. You maybe could be on the six, seven. We're just going to choose this to be the eight ball. Now, we can't use top spin here because there's so much to do there's so much i mean i guess i'll just show you what i'm saying it's so hard for me to describe it so you can see i i just don't like the way i pull up on this 13 or nine ball sorry now we go right spin one two three. i'm gonna duck get right in for position look at that you can't beat that Not bad. Hit it a little too hard. Might go a little too far, but almost straight on on the 13. Not too bad. God damn it, that spin makes it throw the ball off. I hit that one hard. Getting that ball down there. There we go. That was pretty freaking good. Minus that, but we're, we got, we got to bang this ball. I'm banging it straight back. I don't care. Call me out. I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy. <laughs> 